Fun Talk with LT episode 136. This episode is brought to you by StackWap.com. StackWap.com slash shop for your SGE merch. Use promo code Blunt Talk, capital B, capital T, for 10% off everything in the SGE store. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We growing out here. Make sure you hit that like button upon entry. We trying to, you know, grow through the YouTube algorithm. So make sure you hit that like button. Um, Let's get to it. Uh, Kwame Brown. Let's get into the Kwame Brown shit. So Charlemagne went on the radio and Charlemagne made this statement about Kwame Brown. And for me, I look at this and people want to act like this is him copping the plea or just being like, you know what? I don't want any problems. But this to me is a personal attack. When I heard him say this, I'm like, damn, this isn't a good look. This kind of gives credence to a lot of the shit Kwame Brown's been saying. But let's get into it. Let's listen to what uh, Charlemagne has to say. So that was that was like that left wing dem type of. If you don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch. When you do something like that, you're painting someone as a bad person, a potential criminal and don't listen to what they say they could potentially be volatile hostile or anything like that it's like removing them from the conversation Silence, you fool. saying he's uh he's emotional about this x y and z he could snap i did a video saying that you know if you know if you're a basketball player and you're getting criticized for your basketball your play you're playing the basketball court it's it's merit based The sports media has to sell the sport. They're going to, you know, go in on you like that. But there is there has been upon further research. I've seen there's a lot of disrespect stupid thrown upon his name (laughs) and it's beyond basketball. So he is right for snapping back the way he does. And this is his response to Charlemagne. He snapped back and I don't blame him for snapping back in the fashion. He does. A lot of people say he went too far, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's see this. And you got your own body and your own penis that allegedly you used you used to rape a girl, you punk bitch. And you so protected, you bald head, weasel face, bleach face motherfucker that nobody is allowing, nobody taking you off air f***ing the girl. But you get up on, air, uh, on camera talking about protect all women. And now a man finally calling your bitch ass out. Now I'm violent from my truck. I'm a violent guy from my truck talking on the phone fuck out of here see you on youtube bitch (laughs) so what he did and people are saying he went too far he did the exact same thing Charlemagne did he took a personal shot at his character but these are things that we know about from before but Charlemagne and uh iheart media and the breakfast club did their best damage control to get rid of that because it was an allegation it wasn't an actual uh it wasn't a conviction it was an allegation, but the allegation alone could kill your name. So having that on his name, it's like you have skeletons of your own, but you're bringing up someone else's bones. So Charlemagne has to take the L on that one. I don't care if people said he went too far on that one. He attacked in the exact same way Charlemagne attacked. Personal attacks remove you from the conversation. You're a bad person. That's what he then he pointed it out too. He said in various other videos, he has long rants. I didn't listen to all the long rants, and he has you know. Uh, 30 minute videos of him going in on people. The thing about Kwame Brown, this isn't random and it seems random, but he's been building a YouTube channel. He's talking a lot about this black building, uh, the black community, uh, just, just a lot of um, black centric shit. And he has a YouTube channel. He's building his YouTube channel. Yeah, it's just on the phone in his car. Most of the uploads, he hasn't gotten the production around yet, but He's building the YouTube channel. He has a lot of subscribers now because of this. He's used this moment from all the people talking about him, from all the smoke podcasts, all that stuff. He used this moment to capitalize and build his YouTube channel. When I initially saw this, I thought he was bringing up year old beef and just using it to snap for clout or something. And I was like, what is going on here? But then you, I look further into it, and I'm like, okay, he's been building a channel. He's using this moment to capitalize. He's been stripped off of YouTube and uh, Instagram for certain streams because he's been going wild. But it is what it is. Uh, he's building. I'm not gonna hate on on a, on a black man building. It is what it is. Uh, I'm just not. I don't. I'm not trying. I don't want to see people tear down other platforms just to build up because that's just the same type of mentality we've been doing for years but at the end of the day if people are are out of line and need to be checked for their bullshit you got to check them for their bullshit it is what it is um Kwame Brown also went at Matt Barnes Matt Barnes responded to Kwame Brown 
Mommy Brown, Brother Brown, Brother Brown, you've been ranting for about five days now. Uh, your cry for help, your need for attention has worked. I heard your Instagram following has grown over 30,000 the last handful of days since you have my dick, I mean my name in your mouth. Um, but don't be fooled by this new attention, bro. All these people that are gassing you and putting a battery in your back, all the platforms that are picking you up, didn't give a fuck about you last week, bro. They don't love you. They just love the drama <clears throat> and the old the old jokes you're saying. They don't love you. They don't love me. They don't know no one. They love a drama. That's it. But come on all the smoke. Come talk your shit face to face. You got a story to tell, obviously. You're hurt. What? I mean, like I said, you, you can you can play it off with humor, but you're hurt. And I get it. I mean, but come on the show. Talk that shit. Tell your story face to face. There's no bigger, better platform than ours. You can say what you want. We're an award-winning platform. We don't tear down black men. Because you're the butt of the joke. Now that's that that's what you're on. You think we're tearing down black men, but if you actually watch the show, we empower everybody. That's what our thing is. So come on the show, man. We'll be in Atlanta next month. Come to you. Um shit. If me and you got a box before, during, or after, then shake hands to get this shit done. You know I'm always with the shit. But come tell your story, man. Get that shit up off your chest. I mean attacking Stephen A. Smith, he's almost 60 years old. He don't want to fight you. But I ain't got no issues. Like I said, I'm with the shit. So you could bring your hookah. You could bring that front seat of your car that you're always in, ranting about, make yourself feel comfortable, whatever you need to feel comfortable. But come on all the smoke and tell your story, my nigga. We'll be in Atlanta next month. Let me know what's up. Okay, so that was Matt Barnes' response to uh, Kwame Brown. See, Kwame, he's been taking the W in the more entertaining videos for the the back and forth but it's, what matt barnes said is true people are here for the bullshit the entertainment people weren't people didn't give a fuck about kwame brown a week ago what and the youtube numbers reflect that from his channel what but 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 a lot of that happens because people forget about motherfuckers so when he came back into the spotlight and he's talking his shit and he's showing his personality now people are gravitating towards it People are gravitating towards it. So I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know how sustainable it is. I don't know what the, if he's going to, you know, ex expand his production because he has the subscribers now. He's starting to build a bit of a fan base. I don't know what he's going to do, but if he does something, but he doesn't. The thing is, he responded to Matt Barnes and he said, you know, he doesn't want to go to his podcast. He doesn't want to do his show. I don't know if he wants Matt Barnes to do his show, but he said he doesn't even want to see him in person. What else do we got here? Report coming up from Complex and various other sources from an interview uh, with ASAP Rocky. He talks about Rihanna, his relationship with Rihanna in a new interview and calls her the love of his life. And then a lot of fans were surprised. They didn't even re realize that Rihanna and ASAP Rocky were in a relationship. And they were questioning if Rihanna knew that they were in a relationship trying to play ASAP Rocky like he's simping out here. Um... I don't know the dynamic of the relationship. I don't know how long they've been together. I remember a while ago on my old channel, I did like a report when they said they were together or whatever a while ago, but um, I don't know. I don't know if this is simping. I don't know how deep the relationship is. People are saying he's a simp for this and he's simping and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know the relationship like that. I don't know how deep she is in. I don't know where, where she stands. I don't know. I didn't hear her statements. So it's like, it's only simping if the love isn't reciprocated. If she's saying the same old bullshit as he's saying and he's just like reciprocating the love, it's is that really simping? I don't know, man. But it is what it is. It's making headlines, but I didn't get into the full article because we don't do that here. It is what it is. Um, oh, shit. We actually have some of the article here. Got that on the screen. Yeah, I really don't care. What else do you If you don't here? get that bullshit out okay, of my face, Okay, so... Okay, so there's a rumor that Joe Budden has been dropped from his Cash App deal. Now, this rumor is only stemmed on the fact that nobody's seen the Cash App, the cash app sponsor, the little logo shit that comes up on their, their, the, the screen during their podcast. It was not present. 
and it sparked a lot of conversations. A lot of uh, people have been running reports, but I've not heard a credible source uh, push out this information yet. So this has to be headlined as a rumor at this point, just because it's not displayed in one ep episode. That could have been an editing error. I don't know if he said this episode sponsored by Cash App. I don't know. Who knows? But just because they didn't say it in one episode doesn't mean he was fully dropped. But that is the news on it right now. And that is the only evidence pertaining to it. The fact that it wasn't in the most recent episode. Um, I like the most recent episode. I listened to that. They had some deep conversation. The podcast is still all in well. It is what it is. Um, what else do we got here? Okay, so this clip went viral. There's two wedding clips that went viral. This one is just a picture. Let's get into the picture first. Okay, so this picture went viral, and it's a woman on the beach that is pregnant proposing to her man. What? Stupid. <laughs> I, when I see stuff like this, I cringe so hard. Like, she's pregnant, so that's another layer to it. So it's horrible. You're pregnant and proposing instead of being proposed to before you got pregnant. Or, like, being proposed to while you're pregnant. Regard it doesn't matter. But you're the woman. The woman shouldn't ever propose to the man. Ever. Under any circumstance. I don't know what's going on with this new wave of uh, this modern shit where it's, like, it's fully equal and people can do whatever and there's no gender roles or whatnot. This ain't it, fam. This ain't it. And he's holding his face like, oh, my God, really? Yeah, it's yeah, like, no, oh nigga. God, that's not your role. Like, no, I would have turned the hell away. Like, nah, like, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? He should have been on one knee proposing to her. In no circumstance should a woman propose to a man. I remember when Chrissy proposed to Jim Jones on Love and Hip Hop on national television. I cringed so that, hard. Out of my face, bitch. I was, yeah, yo, that was, and they're still not married. <laughs> so it's like women do not propose to your man. Women control the access to sex. Men, men control the access to relationships. They will marry you if they want to. Do not do this. This is cringe. This hurts my eyes. What else do we got here? Um, okay, so this is some sort of African proposal. Um, yeah, this gets a little crazy. This is, they said that she's possessed, but I don't know if this is a prank. I don't know what this is. Well, let's watch this. Okay, so this video is like a few months old now, I think, but it got brought back up and I was just like, I remember this shit. This shit is crazy. Let me bring this to the podcast. What is this? Someone explain this to me. What is going on here? <laughs> what is going on with this lady? This this is crazy. What is that? That has to be a prank. That has to be a skit. That has to be something. He was kind of loafing and putting the ring on. He was like shaking with that. I didn't hear him say anything. What was going on with that skit? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. See, I call that a skit, but I think it's a skit. That shit's crazy. I don't understand that. Why are you doing that? You're possessed. That has to. That's either possession, or that's a skit, and they pulling one over on us. Um. But yeah, it's crazy. What else do we got here? Um, another short episode. Wasted a lot of these topics on the live stream, but we got another live stream coming up. These live streams are taking it to the next level. Um, shit. What else do we got? Yeah, we off in it. It's going to be a short episode today, but we're going to be right back at it. Make sure that you hit that likes button. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, we're going to be right back at it. Live streams, uh, episodes, clips, all that on the way. Make sure that you subscribe once again. Make sure that you subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com slash blunt talk with LT. If you're a supporter, we trying to come up. We trying to come up. Yeah.